Hi, and welcome to our first video walking through a problem of the summer session in 2016 here at Shadron State College. I just want to welcome you guys to the course, uh, the online section of Macroeconomics. Please don't hesitate to call or email me with any questions. In fact, the reason why I'm making this video is because somebody emailed me asking a question about it, and I felt like, yeah, it's a good opportunity to introduce myself and make a short little video explaining how to do this problem. So this is problem number four in your homework, bonus problem 01-04. Let's dive right in. So uh, the prompt says that a landowner just acquired 440 acres of new land using the cost-benefit principle to decide between three different alternate uses of that land. They can grow corn, they can grow soybeans, or they can rent it to a local farmer. So scenario one, grow corn. Scenario, let's just say two, grow soybeans. And scenario three, rent that land out to a local farmer. So we're given the various revenue amounts, right? So we're given a total revenue. Well, actually we're not given total revenue, right? What are we given? We're given revenue per acre here, right? So we're given the revenue per acre we can expect with corn is going to be $875 per acre. All right, now we're also given some information about soybeans, the rev per acre there, we can abbreviate this stuff. That's going to be 580 per acre, right? So a little bit less um, than corn, and we'll get to why that is in a second. So 580 per acre. And then what about renting the land? So if we rent the land, well, that's going to give us the least amount of revenue per acre of everyone, right? Of all these options. Okay. So now that we've got the revenue per acre, now let's calculate the total revenue, right? So in order to do that, we need to multiply it by, you guessed it, the number of acres that we're going to be utilizing for that. So we're not talking about a situation where we might plant half corn and half soybeans, okay? We're just going to talk about the three situations, the three scenarios where we go entirely with corn production, entirely with soybean production, or entirely uh, renting the land to somebody else. We don't even do anything. We just collect the rent every month. Okay, so this we're just going to multiply by the acres and we're going to do that for all of them. Make sure to put multiplication there. And what I like to do, and I don't know about you guys, but I like to kind of set these things up first and then I'll go and I'll calculate all the things. Okay, so we'll get back to actually what this total revenue is going to be in a second. And now that it's now that it's total revenue, we can actually relabel these, right? Instead of revenue per acre, now that we're multiplying by the actual number of acres, these are going to tell us our total revenue, TR. Okay, so for the renting of the land, right, there's no cost associated with it. So the total cost of renting the land are going to be zero, right? Pretty easy. But with soybeans and corn, we do have to do another bit of calculation. So the total cost of growing corn, so we're told that growing and harvesting corn estimated to cost $242,000. So we'll just copy and paste that right there. And then what about our total cost of growing soy? Ah, so this is why you get less per acre because there's less of a startup cost, right? Only $105,000 for 440 acres. That's not terrible, right? Okay. So now that we've got all of the information here, total cost, total revenue, now we can put it together and get our profit, right? Which is really what we're going to be looking at because we're asked what, how do they maximize economic surplus? And economic surplus is really just another name for profit, right? So we're going to be looking at the profit here, which is just the total revenue minus the total costs. So if you have any questions on any of this stuff, please feel free to email me, call me, Skype, make an appointment to come into office hours. You know, I'm here all, all over the summer. Um, so please, please feel free uh, to, you know, reach out to me and let me know if you need some help. Okay, guys? All right. So now I need the calculator. So I'm going to bring up a little four function calculator. It's all we really need. 875 times 440 for my corn gives me a total revenue of 385 thousand oh, dollars up not 86 85 all right we'll get back actually let's figure this out right now so that's my total revenue so we're going to subtract the total cost x 
excellent. So we're going to subtract 242000, zero, 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 giving us 143,000. That's our economic surplus for growing corn. Okay? So this is really, if I could bold, I can't in Notepad, but if I could bold, I would bold that or I would circle it, right? That's the important bit um, that, I, that I got out of all this kind of calculations here, okay? Now, moving on to soybeans. To get our total revenue of soybeans, we're going to do the same thing, 580 per acre times what? How many acres? 440 acres gives me $255,000 and $200 on top of that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. That's my total revenue. I'm going to subtract from it my total cost, which again, how did I get that? It's just given to me in the prompt. We're told that the cost of growing soybeans is 105600 So that's what I'm subtracting. And so we end up with an economic surplus of 149600 for growing soybeans. Now, last but not least, uh, we're still going to do the same thing for completeness, even though the total cost is zero. Uh, the total revenue for renting the land, 320 times 440, gives us 14800 And since the total cost is zero, this is just going to be 14800 minus zero is what? 104800 So now, that's econ surplus for renting the land. Now we have all the information necessary to actually make the choices here, right? This A, B, and C, the opportunity cost of growing corn is what? So remember, the opportunity cost is the next best thing. So the opportunity cost of growing corn, or the implicit cost of growing corn, is the next best thing uh, compared to actually growing corn. Okay, so we see here that, you know, the economic surplus of growing corn is 143, of soybeans is 149, of renting is pretty low, right, 104. So we see that the, the opportunity cost of growing corn, the next best thing, is this $149,000 from growing soybeans. Okay, $149,600 from growing soybeans. All right, now, then it asks, part B, the opportunity or implicit cost of growing soybeans. So that's going to be the next best thing compared to growing soybeans. So now we can actually, uh, you know, pick corn, right? We, we would take a look at, okay, so it's not soybeans. So it's either going to be growing corn for 143000 or it's going to be renting the land for 104000 right? 143 greater than 104 by nearly 40,000, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grow corn, and that's going to be the opportunity cost, whoop, too many dollar signs, opportunity cost uh, of growing soybeans. Now, how do we maximize economic surplus? Well, that's, we're going to pick the scenario that gives us the most profit, right? Because profit is just another term for economic surplus. So to maximize it or to make it the largest amount possible, uh, we would use these 440 acres and we would grow soybeans, right? That's going to give us $149,600 more than any other use of the land once we factor in costs. So growing soybeans is the final answer here. All right, so now you have all the information and the tools necessary. I've walked you through this. If you need to, you can stop. You can go through it again. You can walk through your own problem. Um, it's exactly the same, just with different numbers, okay? If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I'm happy to be your instructor for this summer. And yeah, let me know if you need anything.